This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydro Mag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Welcome to the world's only hydroponic magazine show. This is Hydro Show and here's what's coming up in today's episode. Coming up on today's show, Gemma gets a lesson in propagation at the Aquaculture Greenhouses in Sheffield. The girls battle it out for another presented challenge. Pooja interviews Dan, manufacturer of the Uvenair Ozone Generator. We also get some money saving yield boosting tips from Green Finger Hydroponics and South Coast Hydroponics. Urban Hydroponics in Preston give us their interpretation of a hydroponic mega room. All that and more on the world's only hydroponics TV show. First of all, I went to Aquaculture in Sheffield where Nico gave me a lesson in plant propagation. Hi, I'm here with our friends Aquaculture in Sheffield today and I'm going to learn how to plant seeds and put them onto propagation. So let's go inside and meet Nico, who should be expecting us. Okay, so I'm here with Nico and he's going to show me how to propagate some seeds using different growth mediums. So here we have four different growth mediums here. Can you explain what they are? Yep, this is the Rockwell Cube. This one is compressed and dried peat pellet. This is compressed and dried cocoa pellet. And this is the rooted organic sponges that we'll be using. Okay, so why do we use different growth mediums? Um, a lot of it's down to personal choice. Um, also, a lot of it is down to what you're going to be transplanting it onto. If you're going to be planting into a cocoa pot, it's always a good idea to use the cocoa pellets. If you're going to be transplanting into a larger rockwell cube for an NFT system, start with the rockwell cube. But Again, a lot of it is down to personal choice. You can really plant in any one of these and then transplant into anything else that you, you want to afterwards. Mm. Okay, so we're all right to put the seeds in there now, straight away? No, they need to be pre-soaked, so get them treated and ready to put the seeds in there. With the rock wall, you generally want to soak these for anything from an hour onwards in water that's been had the pH lowered to about 5.5, and you want uh, a good sort of plant food for young seedlings, some, something like the vitamin plant start. Uh, leave them soaking for an hour just to neutralise the lime in there, then they're good to go. The peat pellets just need to be thrown in water. They contain a bit of nutrient, so they're fine. The cocoa, you need to soak these in a weak nutrient solution, again something like plant start and a pH of roughly around about 6.1. And the organic sponges do come slightly moist, but it's, I find it's a good idea to soak them again in something like plant start. Um, and again at a pH of roughly 6.1. Great stuff, okay. So we've soaked all our mediums, what next? So now it's just a case of getting them into the, the cell trays. Uh, the rock wall cubes, they've been soaking for approximately an hour in quite a low pH water, of about 5.5 pH, and half strength EC or low, low EC. Uh, reduce the water content, you don't want them too wet. And 
pop them in the tray. So with the FlexiMix Rootsit cubes, they've been soaking for about five minutes, just in a, a nutrients, half strength nutrient solution with a pH of roughly about six, just over six. Again, reduce the water content so it's not too wet. Pop that in the tray. The cocoa pellets have been soaking for about 10 to 15 minutes in a pH water of about 6.1 and again about a weak nutrient solution. We've been using Vitalink plant start. Um, again, reduce the water content. Pop that in the tray. And the peat pellets have just been soaking in pure water uh, because the peat contains a residual amount of nutrient. You don't need to put any extra nutrient in the water for soaking with that. Okay. So again, reduce the water content until it's not completely dripping. Yeah. Pop it in the tray. Brilliant. And then it's just a case of planting the seeds. Brilliant. So we've talked about the four different types of growth medium there. Should we fill the rest of the cell tray? Yeah, let's get it done. Okay, Nico, so we've filled the cell tray now. Mm -hmm. uh, now I've got some seeds in my hand. Will you show me how to plant them? Yep, I can do. So it's a slightly different methods of uh, planting seeds for each one. The cocoa and the peat pellets are fairly similar. You simply pop a little hole in the top, about a centimetre and a half deep. Do you want to pop your seed in? And what's that using there? Uh, this is a stake for a humidity dome. Uh, you can use anything as long as it's got Fairly small and narrow, narrow tip. You know, a bit of plastic or anything will do. So I just put one seed just like that. Yep. Just pop it in there. Yep. Okay. So once it's in the hole, just cover it up so it doesn't get any light to it. Okay. Same with the cocoa pellets. And cover that up again. Uh, the rock wall is slightly different. You just need to prise open a little hole in the rock wall cube. Pop just the put seed in, in there. there. And then you just close back the hole. Just gently push the rock wall fibres so it seals the hole. And the FlexiMix cubes already have a hole in there pre-drilled. So if you just pop your seed in there, and you simply tear a small bit of the FlexiMix and gently cover that up so it blocks the light. And that's it. Great stuff. Okay, so now we've put all of our seeds in, what comes next? Well now it's just a case of getting the propagator lid and putting that over there to maintain a high humidity, keep these closed. Um, and make sure they're watered, you know, don't, you don't want them to dry out, so you'll probably mm. have to water them usually once every two or three days. And what's right. the ideal temperature though for these now? Well, the, they're sat on a heat map here, so we have heating elements running under the whole table. Try to keep the, the root zone to around about sort of 20 degrees. Uh, because it's in a greenhouse, it's quite variable, uh, the temperature, but generally I'll try and keep it around about 20 degrees. So now they're in the propagator, how long do you think before we can transplant these now? Uh, well, they should start sprouting within about a week and a half. Um, you know, 10 to 14 days or so, and then they'll be ready for transplanting after about three or four weeks once they've developed a, a few sets of leaves on there and get them potted up. Fantastic. So if we come back in about three weeks' time, we should see a difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see you then. Thank you. Splendid. It's that time in the show again where the two of us are given a presenter challenge. So let's find out what this week's challenge is all about. In this week's presenter challenge, you must each go to a different grow store with £1,000 and buy a system for propagation, cloning and stock plants. Bring your systems back to the studio for assessment by the Hydro Show producers. I'm here at Perryvale in London at Greenfinger Hydroponics. I'm here to meet Panch, who's hopefully going to give me some advice on stock plant and propagation system. Hiya. Hiya. I'm after a two-tier tent system where I can keep a mother plant and plenty of cuttings. I've got a thousand pounds. Can you help me out? Yeah, definitely. No problem. You're in the right place. 
Okay, Gemma, so you've got a decent budget there. So this is the tent I put you on. It's a Secret Jardin DR120T. So it's got all the features you'd expect from a good grow tent, um, except for obviously as well it's a propagation tent, so you've got a propagation unit that sits on the top of it, uh, specifically designed to be strong enough to take that and all the equipment you need. It's also got a thermally insulated layer in between, so you're not going to overheat your cuttings even though you've got a light on underneath. So would it be just one plant you were looking to grow then? Well actually, one of the criteria of the presenter challenge is to be versatile. So if I've got more than one mother plant, then I think I've got a better chance of winning. Okay, well that makes sense that you might want more than one because there's a few advantages to having a more than one plant, obviously. You could uh, have different varieties, you might have different, different types of cutting up top, or if you needed to take a lot of cuttings of the same variety, then that's going to be easier with five plants, obviously. You look like a fairly modern, up-to-date person, so this is a very modern system just out. Uh, it's called System 5, obviously a five-pot dripper system. Uh, it's an active hydro system, so it's going to pump your nutrients through your, through your dripper rings here for your plants to take the nutrients they need as and when they need it. So down the bottom I've got a 250 watt metal halide. Uh, that's going to provide enough wattage and enough penetration to actually give you good growth on mother plants. Up the top here you wouldn't need anywhere near as much wattage for little baby cuttings, which are only going to be, remember, about this big. Um, so this is a T5, it's a nice uh, even light spread off it so you're not going to get the cuttings bending to try and reach the light uh, and also it's only 54 watt per tube, it's a four tubes, 54 watts each tube so as you can see it can get nice and low without burning them or stressing them out too much. So two different types of light for two different types of growth. Panch then went on to explain that he would be supplying Gemma with an extraction fan and filter for the cloning area and another one for the mother area along with a clip fan. Now what do Greenfinger recommend for nutrition? Okay, so I'm going to put you on the bioponic range from Hydrotops. Um, you've got a basic root stimulator, which does what it says on the tin. You've got Head Start here that's good for feeding cuttings with. Obviously the grow food there is for your bigger your plants, your mothers. Then you've got Leaf Feed, which is a foliar spray that at half strength you can feed your cutting with. Full strength, it will bring the mothers on a lot more vigorously, a lot more quickly. Bactivator here is beneficial microbes which will protect the roots against things like pythium and also because it generally strengthens the plant it will help protect it against spider mite, things like that as well, make it much, more hard, much harder for things like that to attack it. And then at the end I've thrown you in a root safari as well uh, and this is a gel that you make up yourself and then you dip your rooted cuttings in it and that will help protect them against sh transplant shock and root disease. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm quietly confident about this challenge because I came in today expecting quite a basic setup but what I'm coming away with is actually quite advanced. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. See you later. For her cloning system, Pooja went along to Holland Hydroponics in Burnley where she met up with store manager Michael. We'll start with the tent, so this is at the bottom of the shop and we'll go there now. Great, thank you. First this is the mother tent which is a silver back which is a 1.2 metre tent by 2 metres high. As you can see, it's got a silver interior and you've got your multiple ventilation points, two at the top and one at the bottom for your intake and your outtake. Next we have the Wilma system which is a four pot big Wilma. It's got an 18 litre size pot, so there's four of them as you can see. Quite a large size pot, but because obviously mother plants are going to be kept in there for quite a long time, pretty much indefinitely, you always want to have uh, plenty of room for the roots to grow and develop. Um, you've got your, obviously your, your tray below and then your tank where all your nutrients is kept. You want to replace that on a weekly basis. Your pump obviously comes with the kit, sticks in the bottom, uh, drip comes up through the centre pipe and then splits off to the four parts through a dripper system. Here we have the medium that we're going to be popping into your Wilma for you, which is the Hydro Cocoa 6040 by Gold Label, which is basically a, a mixture of pebbles and cocoa in a ratio of 60-40. That's uh, pebbles are 60 and the 40 is the cocoa, so it gives you the ideal drainage um, for your plants. Uh, this also benefits with the amount of oxygen that you get in there and also it will stop it from compacting quite a bit as well. So that's what we're using for your mother plants. Right. Here we have the light system which is going to be perfect for your mother plants. As you can see, this is the unit. Uh, comes with your ballast, your reflector and your bulb. Uh, standard wattage is a 400 watts. Just a basic standard reflector, so it's ideal for your setup. Uh, the price is relatively competitive, so this allows us obviously to spend uh, more elsewhere with your nutrients and some of your other systems. Uh, the bulb is actually slightly different than the one we're actually going to be giving you today. Uh, this is a dual spectrum, which is ideal for if you were wanting to veg and flower at the same times. But we're going to go with metal halides. They do work, look a little bit different, 
but this is a basically a pure blue spectrum, which is ideal for veg. Here we have the tent that we're going to be using for you. As you can see, we've already got the propagator in there that's going to be used for your cuttings. Uh, the tent is the exact same as the one we showed you earlier. It's a silverback, just a lot smaller. That's and it. that's for the cuttings? It is, yes. Next we have the lighter system, which is going to be ideal for your cuttings to bring them on, uh, which is just above us, which is, as you can see, the EnviroGrow unit, which is two foot, four tube unit. Uh, each bulb is 24 watts, so it's a very low running cost and extremely low heat output, which is ideal for what you want when it comes to cuttings. Michael then went on to explain that Holland's would be providing an intake and outtake fan along with a twin fan speed controller for the mother area. For the cloning area, he's gone with an outtake fan with a thermostat fan controller. Now let's see what Michael suggests for nutrition. First one, obviously, you've got your doctor repair, which is pretty much plant health, everything that you want to make sure the plant's nice and healthy. So for a mother plant, which is ideal, especially if you're taking a lot of cuttings off them. Uh, second is your B1 boost, which is going to help your stem growth, uh, again, uptake of nutrients. You would use it all the way through veg and into flower, and it'll help with uh, your flowering side of it as well. But obviously, just because obviously it's a mother, we're just aiming for the plant health sort of side of it. Uh, next is your uptake, which again, increase the nutrient uptake. So in a bull plant, you always want to make sure it's nice and healthy, um, always has an, an available of nutrients at all times. Second, you've got your base feed, which is your A and B, um, as you can see, A and B. Uh, always use equal parts of both, and that is literally your veg feed. Uh, next is your Clonix, which is for taking cuttings. Next one is the ATA root fast, which is basically once your cuttings have got some sort of root, you give them that, which is then going to promote more roots, roots better roots, quicker roots. Also, obviously, you want to use it in your mother plants as well, because healthy roots so ball is beneficial. Next is Formlex, which is just a basic weak feed. It's a lot weaker than your A and B by Psycho, which is, again is ideal for your cuttings. You can also spray it as well. So what a great trip. I think I've got everything I need. So let's get back to the studio and hopefully Holland's have given me a winning system this time. Still to come on Hydro Show, the girls battle it out for another presented challenge. Pooja interviews Dan, manufacturer of the Uvenair Ozone Generator. We also get some money saving yield boosting tips from Greenfinger Hydroponics and South Coast Hydroponics. Urban Hydroponics in Preston give us their interpretation of a hydroponic mega room. And we interview Robbie from Metrop Concentrated Nutrients. All that and more on the world's only hydroponics TV show. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Hello, I'm Brad. And I'm Matt. Welcome to South Coast Hydroponics. choose to grow. Well, let us introduce to you the aroma formula. So variable it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The aroma formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. yields use the advanced nutrients bigger yields growing systems for the optimum results hobbyist expert professional brand master more info at www.com 
www.advancednutrientsuk.co.uk With stores in Barnsley, Ripley and this superstore in Sheffield, aquaculture is the obvious choice for Yorkshire's hydroponic gardeners. Fully stocked with the latest and greatest hydroponic products, at Aquaculture we pride ourselves on quality service and advice. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, come and see our greenhouse facility in Sheffield and we'll show you how hydroponics really work. Aquaculture Hydroponics, stores in Barnsley, Ripley and Sheffield or online at www.aquaculture-hydroponics.co.uk at Holland Hydroponics, you'll find a wide variety of hydroponic systems, accessories, plant nutrition and the latest hydroponic innovations, always in stock. Visit www.hydroponics.co.uk in May to find these fantastic offers. Holland Hydroponics, open in Manchester, Burnley, Huddersfield and our new store in Flint, North Wales. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Last year at Grow Expo 2012, I met up with Dan from Ozone Environmental Technologies, the manufacturer of Uvenair Ozone Generator. And here's what he had to say. Hello and welcome back. We're currently joined by Dan from Ozone Environmental Technology. Welcome, Dan. Thank you very much. So I'd like to ask you a few questions. Could you talk us through Uvenair, which is an ozone generation product? Well, let me ask you the question. You're familiar with ozone, but in many different uh, forms. Uh, perhaps uh, you've been outside in a lightning storm. Billions of grams of ozone are being produced. Also. Uh, tanning beds, uh, ozone's produced, photocopiers as well. Uh, those are just some of the forms of, of ozone that you're familiar with on a day-to-day -day basis. We produce ozone in two different uh, uh, methods. One is ultraviolet, the other is corona discharge. Uh, the ultraviolet unit is a unit whereby you're passing air over an ultraviolet bulb at a certain electrical charge to it that's taking the oxygen molecule, which is O2, and splitting one of the molecules, making it O3. The third molecule is a very active little rascal and it likes to eat organic material. When ozone is not being produced, it will consume itself and revert back to pure oxygen in both cases, with the ultraviolet and with the corona discharge. The ultraviolet unit we talked about, the corona discharge, it's a unit whereby you're passing an electrical charge between a ceramic glass in the center and a metal grid on the inside and the outside of the ceramic. Basically, it's making many lightning bolts and a lot of them. These units produce 10 times the ozone that the ultraviolet produce. And where we use them is a myriad of places in this industry, of course, in greenhouses uh, and any hydroponic applications. So how does ozone fit into the hydroponic industry? Well, what we do is use ozone for sanitizing and disinfecting greenhouses. The uh, powdery mildews, mold, any bacteria, virus, and one of the, uh, the biggest problems is powdery mildew along with spiders and mites. Uh, you can use a variety of material to get rid of the spiders and mites, but it doesn't get rid of their eggs. And one spider can produce 20, 30,000 eggs in a month period. So when you kill the mother spider, that's one thing, but she's got a lot of kids coming along behind her. And as a result, we use uh, the ultraviolet units for sterilizing a greenhouse first uh, to eliminate the eggs as well. So once this greenhouse has been totally sterilized, now we have a room that's as clean as an operating room in a hospital. Bear in mind, in an operating room in a hospital, after an operation has taken place, they autoclave all the utensils. And autoclaving is uh, 280 degrees of steam for a 20-hour period. In order to ensure 100% kill, they put it in an ozone bath after that, just to make sure everything is gone. So th that's the strength of ozone. We use it in several other industries as well. Uh, fire restoration, uh, where there's been flood damage over a, a 
because the river's backing up, sewer's backing up. You get mold and mildew problems in basements on the walls. We sell the ozonators for uh, eliminating the, the mold and mildew problem. Uh, cars that have been on uh, lease or been traded in where there's smokers, where they've had pets that have had accidents in the car, or kids that have had accidents, and there's odor. They use an ozonator for a half an hour to get rid of those odors forever. That pretty much winds up the whole market. Okay, so thank you very much. And that was Dan from Ozone Environmental Technology with Ubinet. If you're looking for more information on ozone, see issue 5 of Hydromag or visit www.hydromag.co.uk. It's now time for some more quick tips. So before we came down here today, we asked if you could come up with some cheap ways of increasing yield. So for our Hydro Show viewers at home, how can we produce bigger yields on a budget? Okay, well, one of the first things that people forget is that the growth stage is very important to your overall yield. So you need a good humidity level in the growth stage, anything up to 80%. Okay. A very, very cheap and easy way of doing this is what we call humidity sheeting. You just put it up, as you can see, roughly halfway between your light and the top of your plant. What I would normally do is, at home is I would spray it up with a little spray gun just to get some moisture in there. The heat will hit the moisture, turn it into humidity. It's cheap as chips, this is about £2 a metre, so you can't go wrong. Great. Secondly also, yield is directly related to how, the plant, how strong the plant is and how easy it can support itself. So one really cheap way of supporting the plant is just to put some netting up, just some normal uh, garden, garden netting. Um, what, do, what this will do is the plant will then rest against it as it grows and rather than having to put its energy into standing up straight, it will just put its energy into producing flowers or whatever it is you're growing. Uh, thirdly, but not least, again, another way of support is once you've come through the netting, you might find that your plant is actually getting so much yield that it's falling over. Very simple to do, you just pull a yo-yo down, wrap it around the plant and as the plant grows bigger, the yo-yo will allow it to keep going up where it wants to go. So, three ways, cheap as chips. Fantastic. I'd like to show you Dutch Pro Take Root, um, which obviously the plants in the first two weeks of um, their early stages, they need to get the root mass out. Without the good root system, you're not going to have a healthy plant at the end. So this at the beginning is going to lead to a healthier plant and bigger harvest. This product here is Great White Shark, which is a mycorrhiza. It's made by Plant Success. Um, you apply this to the root system at the early stages. Um, it can be used all the way through um, grow and flower as well, up to about two weeks towards the end. Um, this protects the roots against pythium and other diseases and it, you have better nutrient uptake because you have a better root system. Basically it protects the roots. This is called liquid silicon and it's made by Growth Technology. Um, how you use it is you just add this simply to your nutrient tank. The benefits of using silicon is it's going to strengthen your plant up, um, increasing your yield as well leading to a healthier plant and more resistant against pests and diseases. Um, the cost of this is about £10 and this bottle here will make up about 2,000 litres. I'm here with Panch at Greenfinger Hydroponics and no we're not trying to look cool but in fact we're wearing Mabisashi Grow Room glasses. So Panch, why is it so important to wear protective eyewear like this in the grow room? Well, if you're gardening outdoors, you certainly wouldn't stare at the sun all the time. And it's a similar effect in the grow room. We're using high power sodium lamps all the time. There's a lot of ultraviolet, a lot of infrared radiation coming off them. And we're finding with our customers who've been growing a number of years now, they're getting problems with their eyesight, some of them. Things like shadows, missing areas of vision. So, yeah, that's it. It's really important to protect your eyes when you're in a grow room. So, why do you stock Mabi Sashi glasses in particular at Greenfinger? Okay, well, there's a few things that make Mabasashi glasses particularly advantageous for a grower, uh, an indoor grower. The first is they get a 60-minute tint for infrared. They get a 45-minute tint for UV. Uh, now, a lot of the other types of glasses will let up to 15% of UV and infrared through. 4% can be really damaging to your eyes, whereas Mabasashi will block 100% of these harmful rays. So it's a no-brainer, really, if you're in a grow room. Now, are you looking for the ultimate grow room? Well, here's Nick with how you can win one. It's the Hydro Show competition. It's now time for our weekly competition, where one lucky viewer can win a complete set of plant nutrients. Designed to feed a crop from seed to harvest, 
This prize is the perfect addition to any hydroponic garden. And best of all, it's completely free to enter. This week's nutrient competition is sponsored by Growing Edge Technologies and the Aroma Formula. The winner will be selected completely at random and contacted privately at the end of next week's show. All entrants of our weekly competitions will be automatically added to our grand prize draw at the end of the series. You could win a grow tent system worth over £3,000. All courtesy of our friends at Agritent. Visit facebook.com forward slash hydro show and get liking for your chance to win one of our amazing prizes. Good luck. Still to come on Hydro Show. Urban Hydroponics in Preston give us their interpretation of a hydroponic mega room and we interview Robbie from Metrop Concentrated Nutrients. All that and more on the world's only hydroponics TV show. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Next time you're in your local hydroponics store, why not pick up a copy of Hydromag? Hydromag brings you in-depth information about all aspects of hydroponic growing, from growth mediums to systems. In fact, everything you need to grow your seed can be found in Hydromag. Hydromag is written by growers for growers. Hydromag, hydroponics, urban living, and so much more. So why not visit our website, www.hydromag.co.uk. introduce to you the aroma formula. So variable it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The aroma formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. At Holland Hydroponics, you'll find a wide variety of hydroponic systems, accessories, plant nutrition and the latest hydroponic innovations, always in stock. Visit www.hydroponics.co.uk in May to find these fantastic offers. Holland Hydroponics, open in Manchester, Burnley, Huddersfield and our new store in Flint, North Wales. Are you ready for bigger yields? Use the Advanced Nutrients Bigger Yields Growing Systems for the optimum results. Hobbyist. Expert. Professional. Grandmaster. More info at www.advancednutrientsuk.co.uk. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Before the break, Gemma and Pooja went to Greenfinger in London and Hollands in Burnley to buy their cloning tent systems. Let's go back to the studio and watch them set the systems up. We're now joined in the studio by Panch from Greenfinger Hydroponics and Michael from Hollands in Burnley. Hi guys. Hiya. Hi. 
they brought along their recommended cloning systems and set up their tent. It's just up to Pooja and I to finish setting them up. Are you ready Pooja? Yeah, let's do it. The setup of this particular grow tent challenge is a little more difficult than the one in episode 1. So where an extra pair of hands were needed, we allowed the girls to use a rep from each store to help them out. So while the systems are being set up, let's go over the criteria for the challenge. We divided the challenge into nine different areas. Those are the tent systems that have been used, the lighting in their mother and cloning areas, what ventilation and environment setups are used in their mother and cloning areas, what growing systems they have used in each of their mother and cloning areas, what plant nutrition they have provided, and what control and measuring equipment they have supplied. Each of the systems will be marked on their effectiveness and suitability within these areas. The budget for the system is £1,000 and providing they've stuck to their budget, the winner of the challenge will be determined by which system is more effective in each of the areas mentioned. It looks like the girls have finished so let's see what Panch and Michael had to say about each other's systems. First of all, let's see what Panch from Greenfinger thinks about the Holland setup. For the tents, Holland's opted for a 1.2 metre silverback for their mother plant and a 60 centimetre silverback for their cloning area. Okay, um, I mean the first thing I'd say about theirs is that it's wasting quite a lot of space. You've got, obviously it's got to sit sideways to it so you're wasting space horizontally. But also, if you had a tiered one, you're saving space height-wise as well. In their mother plant area, Holland's chose a 400 watt metal halide lighting system with a Euro reflector. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, say that a 400 watt is a bad thing to have at all. Uh, it's just a matter of handling the heat in a small tent. The 250 we went for just simple case of just handling the heat better and it's also slightly cheaper for the budget as well. For ventilation and environment in the mother area, Michael opted for a fresh air in with a stale air out system with an SMS twin fan speed controller. A six inch out and four inch in is a very good system. I wouldn't knock them for doing that at all. That's, that's a good way of doing it, a good ratio. So you've got three out for every two in, so you're gonna keep negative pressure. Nothing wrong with that at all. For ventilation in the cloning area, Holland's went for a thermostat controlled four inch extraction fan. That is a good thing to have. I, I wouldn't ever put anyone off one of those. The only reason we don't have one was a budget reason. We decided we went with the with leaving it out because we've got a humidifier in there. So it, it it wasn't something that I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend. I'd always recommend a fan controller. It's just a budget issue. It's the only reason we left it out. In his mother plant area, Michael selected a four pot Wilma dripper system. The growth medium they provided was Gold Label 6040. They've gone for a four pot Wilma. A perfectly good system. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever to criticise. Um, we've gone for something a little bit different. We've gone for the, the uh, System 5, which is it's lower slung, so you, you're going to get a bit more height out of, your, out of your propagation tent, which is quite useful. Also, it flat packs, so it's easy to get in and out of places, very, very light to carry. Um, and also, because it's 5, you get like the dice shape, which means that your spread of vegetation is going to be better in the tent. And finally, for nutrition, Michael opted for Formulex and Clonex for his clones and a range of psychonutrient for his mother plants, which included a grow A and B, a nutrient uptake booster, a vitamin booster, and a plant repair nutrient. He also included a bottle of ATA Rootfast for when the cuttings are ready for transplanting. We didn't so. give her any Clonex, no, it's the only thing we didn't give is a root, which is a bit remiss actually, but uh, again, it's something I, w I wouldn't say don't use. Um, what we have got is Root Safari, which is a, once you have rooted, it, performs, you, it forms a gel that you dip your rooted clones into that will perform a pre protective layer over the roots, which will help with transplant. They'll come quicker through the next blocks you put them in or whatever medium you put them in, um, and they'll be mu much more resistant to disease with it as well. Now it's time to find out what Michael had to say about the Greenfinger cloning system. For their tent system, Greenfinger chose the secret Jardin DR120T, a twin tent system with two separatable compartments, one above the other. Different, uh, obviously we don't stock the, the DR, the Secret Jardin, uh, very nice tent, uh, you know, brilliant quality. For lighting in their mother tent, Greenfinger opted for a 250 watt metal halide lamp 
housed in an adjuster wing enforcer. Uh, very nice. Again, theirs isn't as high, so obviously they haven't got height. Um, their particular setup, very nice. Um, again, I think a four would have been too much in that particular space, which, you know, obviously you don't want to increase your heat. Um, it's just obviously different tent, different setup, so different light. Um, nice system, though. For ventilation and environment in their mother plant area, Greenfinger opted for a 6-inch RVK150 A1 extractor with a 6-inch filter for air scrubbing and a Mr. Pro 3 ultrasonic humidifier. They also provided an oscillating 6-inch clip fan. Um, your temperature in your room, if obviously it gets too warm, no amount of extra humidity will prevent your plants from suffering from obviously high temperatures and obviously vice versa for low temperature. Um, low temperature well, really high humidity will cause a, uh, obviously an excessive amount of mould, mildews to grow. Um, same obviously if it's too warm uh, and that's the reason why we went through the uh, fan speed controller. The pot system in Greenfinger's mother plant area included a System 5 5 pot 19 litre folding grow system from Global Hydro with an additional Helia air pump and 6 inch air stone. The growing medium they supplied is Mapito. Um, there's not a really, I don't think there's a massive difference really between the system other than theirs is flatter and wider, uh, ours obviously is, is more compact so again it gives you access maybe to around the sides. For their mother plant nutrition, Greenfinger supplied Hydrotop's Grow Feed A and B for growth along with Hydrotop's Bactivator which helps deter root diseases. For their cutting nutrients, Greenfinger provided Head Start and Root Stimulator, both from Hydrotops, which would help give their clones the best start in life. Finally, Greenfinger provided Root Safari, which is a cloning gel used for transplanting clones. I believe they went for uh, the Hydrotops range, um, which uh, brilliant range feed. Um, they also went for a different root stim, if I remember rightly. They went for like a, a one-off treatment. Um, we went for obviously uh, the root fast, which we've had brilliant feedback from our customers. It's brilliant value for money, brilliant concentration, um, and always gives a really good, really quick root growth. At the end of the day, um, all of the ranges will give a really good uh, either value for money, um, and hopefully will also give you uh, a brilliant percentage when it comes to your cuttings coming through at the end of the day. It's now time to tot up the scores. Even though the Holland's tents were more versatile and could be used for different purposes, the challenge was to create a cloning tent system, and the DR120T being purposefully designed for the job is a much better selection, giving Greenfinger top marks for the tent category. Both Greenfinger and Holland's went for T5 lighting systems and comparatively used the same amount of wattage per propagator. This means that this category has to be a draw. For lighting in the mother tent, Greenfinger did give a better reflector. However, the extra 150 watts that the Holland's 400 watt lighting system provided would help their mothers recover quicker after their cuttings had been taken, giving Holland's the edge in this area. The ventilation and environment in the cloning area has to be won by Holland's. The provision of the thermostat controller means that their cuttings would be kept at a more constant temperature, whereas Greenfinger's setup only allowed for the fans to be on or off, which gives them far less control. On the other hand, the ventilation and environment provided in Greenfinger's mother area included a clip-on fan and mister, and the extra humidity here would help Greenfinger's mothers massively after cuttings had been taken. Each of the cloning areas use the same type of unheated propagators and rockwool cubes. However, Greenfinger's system did allow for up to three propagators, whereas the Holland's tent, even laid on its side, would only allow for two, giving Greenfinger the point in the cloning system category. Holland's chose a Wilma system, which is very popular and has certainly served its time as a system that works in the hydroponics industry. Greenfinger's System 5 is definitely innovative and has an extra pot and we did ask for a system that would take a variety of mother plants, meaning the extra pot gives Greenfinger the win in the mother system category. The plant nutrition category is very hard to call, with both shops offering a comprehensive range of nutrients. However, Holland's did give us a rooting hormone which Greenfinger neglected, meaning the nutrition category is narrowly won by Holland's. Finally, control and measuring. Both systems came with timers and max min thermohygrometers, which are essentially for controlling light and measuring temperature. However, Holland's did provide that extra twin fan speed controller, 
something which Greenfinger would have put in if it wasn't for budget restrictions. Well, with the scores totted up, it looks like a draw. However, we don't like stalemates on Hydro Show. So the final decision comes down to our producer's discretion. And the winner is... Greenfinger. Having thought long and hard, our producer Pete based the winning decision on Greenfinger's compact tent selection, giving a better overall growing environment for mothers and cuttings. However, he did remark that this system really does need a fan speed controller something that he would cash out the extra £100 or so to make the system that little bit better. It's now time for the Hydro Show news. Calmax was developed to provide the additional calcium, magnesium and iron that plants require during rapid growth. Without these nutrients, fast growing plants can quickly develop deficiencies that are preventable. Supplementing with CalMax virtually eliminates numerous deficiencies by providing the additional nutrients to support peak production as a foliar spray option during periods of low nutrient uptake. CalMax should be used in addition to your regular fertiliser feeding schedule to prevent or correct deficiencies. Plagron Bat Mix is an organic mix of the finest, carefully selected types of peat. It contains various types of fibre and perlite, which results in a high level of lightness and oxygen. As the name suggests, the main nutrient in bat mix is bat manure, which is naturally rich in phosphorus and potassium, guaranteeing abundant growth. Bat mix contains sufficient nutrients to meet all the needs of the plants throughout the complete cycle and is available in 25 and 50 litre bags. Smaller in size and lighter in weight, the HortiLine Horti filter is easier and safer to handle than conventional carbon filters. Made from virgin food grade activated coconut carbon, its multi-layer fleece mats are airtight sealed to guarantee 100% efficiency. The BioWave Mini attaches to the ceiling with ratchet pulleys or has legs that permit the unit to stand on a table or any flat surface. One of these units will cover 500 square feet and will run on 110 to 240 volts. Buyers can enjoy a one-year comprehensive warranty on parts and labour. Waves are contained by sheetrock and other dense materials so they are concentrated in the growing area. Explode is a bloom stimulator that delivers precious nutrients and minerals to your plants throughout the flowering stage. Consisting of micronutrients, vitamins and acids, it does exactly as the name suggests explosively driving flowering growth and bigger yields in addition to increasing your plant's resistance against diseases. Equipped with an opaque tent and several new interesting and innovative features, the Agro Tent makes maximum use of the light source and optimises crop yields. You can use the walls instead of soil to grow your favourite plants, thereby tripling your growth surface. If you would like to get your hands on the Agro Tent, you can win the chance by entering this week's competition. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. Hello, I'm Brad. And I'm Matt. Welcome to South Coast Hydroponics. choose to grow. Well, let us introduce to you the aroma formula. So variable it fits all the plants you want to grow indoors. Speed up plant growth. Increase yields. Trusted by the professionals. Results you can easily see for yourself. The aroma formula. Now available at all fine hydroponic shops. Yields. 
use the Advanced Nutrients Bigger Yields Growing Systems for the optimum results. Hobbyist. Expert. Professional. Grandmaster. More info at www.advancednutrientsuk.co.uk. With stores in Barnsley, Ripley, and this superstore in Sheffield, aquaculture is the obvious choice for Yorkshire's hydroponic gardeners. Fully stocked with the latest and greatest hydroponic products, at Aquaculture, we pride ourselves on quality service and advice. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, come and see our greenhouse facility in Sheffield and we'll show you how hydroponics really work. Aquaculture Hydroponics, stores in Barnsley, Ripley, and Sheffield, or online at www.aquaculture-hydroponics.co.uk. At Holland Hydroponics, you'll find a wide variety of hydroponic systems, accessories, plant nutrition, and the latest hydroponic innovations, always in stock. Visit www.hydroponics.co.uk in May to find these fantastic offers. Holland Hydroponics, open in Manchester, Burnley, Huddersfield, and our new store in Flint, North Wales. This episode of Hydro Show is sponsored by Hydromag, the UK's independent hydroponics magazine. For those of you that tuned in last week, you may remember our Mega Rooms feature with Greenfinger. Well, this week it's the turn of Urban Hydroponics in Preston, who will no doubt have their own ideas about how to create a super grow room. Let's take a look. Urban Hydroponics split their demonstration space into three areas. One for cloning, one for a mother plant and a third for a main growing area. In the main growing area, Urban Hydroponics brought six power plant aero wing air cooled reflectors loaded with Sunmaster dual spectrum lamps powered by 600 watt Hacienda ballasts. The lighting system is controlled by a MaxiGrow 8-way MaxiSwitch Pro. Cooling these lights is a 200mm Air Force 2 fan speed with three speeds. Pulling the air through a 900mm cube, the Air Force is designed to provide maximum airflow with minimum noise. For extra cooling in the main area, a second Air Force fan was supplied. Both fans were controlled by a Rhino RC2 600W fan controller. The growing setup in the main area is an IWS 24 pot deep water culture system a high yielding automatic system which oxygenates the roots and recycles the water used. For bringing the cuttings on, Urban Hydroponics used a 1.2 metre tent containing a 24 pot vegetator. The lighting in this tent is a 250 watt self ballasted CFL with a light temperature of 6400 Kelvin. The vegetator is designed for use in 1.2 metre tent and can take up to 24 plants to be grown under just one light. For the cloning area, Urban Hydroponics used a 1.2 meter tent containing an extreme 36 site aeroponic propagator and a platinum hydrogrower single pot dripper system. For lighting, they used another 250 watt self ballasted CFL. Also in the room, Urban Hydro placed a bottle of CO2 controlled by an Ecotechnics Unis CO2 controller. The Unis can be easily programmed to release the correct amount of CO2 into the atmosphere, helping with photosynthesis. Finally, to complete their mega room, Urban Hydroponics supplied the Advanced Nutrients Bigger Yield Kit containing a range of hydroponic additives for use throughout the plant's life cycle. The growth medium they supplied was gold labelled clay pebbles. Thank you to Urban Hydroponics for getting involved with Hydro Show Mega Reams. All the setups featured in the series can be found in our official magazine. Visit www.hydromag.co.uk to find out more. 
I'm here with Robbie from Metrop, who's going to introduce us to his range of fertilisers that are manufactured in Holland. Hello, Robbie. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. So first of all, I want to ask you how many products are in your range and what are they? In the, the Metrop uh, range, uh, we have uh, fertilisers and we also manufacture uh, fertilisers for other brands. Yeah, and that, that is, there are, those are many, many different fertilisers. So what's unique about the Metrop nutrients? Um, what's very unique about uh, the Metrop nutrient is that they are liquid, very high concentrated. I have one example for you, so you can feel the bottle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as you can feel, it's, it's very heavy. And when you shake the bottle, you can feel it's, it's very thick uh, fertilizer. And that's uh, very unique in, uh, in the world. Great stuff. So what is the benefit of having concentrated liquid fertilizer over normal fertilizer? The benefit of uh, concentrated liquid fertilizer over normal fertilizer is that uh, the freight charge of many pellets compared to one small pellet, for example, uh, the storage uh, place, uh, the stock you have, or you need many pellets or you just have one pellet in stock. Mm. Uh, when you have a shop, uh, you have many big bottles or just uh, a small corner with, uh, with some fertilizer. Mm. And yeah, that's already uh, a lot of benefits. Um, saves you money, saves you uh, storage place, stock place. But also for the people who buy it and use it, yeah, or you buy a lot of tanks with water fertilizer, or you just buy one bottle uh, for the same uh, amount of uh, plants uh, you use. So is this more expensive then? Yeah, one liter metrop fertilizer is more expensive. Mm. But uh, if you calculate it back to the concentration, it is more cheaper. It lasts longer. It lasts longer, yes. Fantastic. Mm. So apart from the concentration, is there anything else that's different? Uh, yes, there are. There are many differences. Um, and we'll mention a few. Uh, one of the differences is that uh, there are many micro elements already in, uh, in the fertilizers. Uh, I know uh, some other brands say we have micro elements in it, but that's just the amount that comes with the water. We really put them in. Um, that means that uh, some other uh, stimulators from other brands you don't need because those are just some micro elements and it's already in it. And uh, another uh, difference is that uh, we have standard in all our fertilizers already a wetting agent. And that means that all our fertilizers are suitable for foliar feed. Okay, so there are six fertilizers in your range. Why are there so few compared to other manufacturers? Uh, because we make uh, our fertilizers uh, right away more complete. As I said, uh, certain microelements uh, like molybdane, zinc or magnesium, we put it all in the same bottle and not in another bottle and another bottle and another bottle. And yeah, with that we, we managed to make everything even in five bottles for a, no a normal growing stage. And the sixth bottle you have in your hand, that's for another uh, kind of uh, growing. Okay. You know, Gem, we're halfway through the season already. Oh, I know. But there's still lots to come, though. And here's Nick with what's coming up on next week's episode. Coming up on episode four of Hydro Show, Gemma interviews Fernand from Swiss hydroponics manufacturer Hortiline. We see what the girls have learned so far in the series in the presenter challenge. Gemma has a lesson in transplanting with Nico from Aquaculture. Robert from Metrop explains biosynthesis, a plant nutrient manufacturing process. We get some quick tips from Greenfinger Hydroponics. Holland Hydroponics set up a hydroponic mega room. And we see a DIY hydroponic system for tomatoes at the aquaculture greenhouses. All this and more on the world's first hydroponic TV show. Remember, as always, you can watch this episode of Hydro Show again on our website. Just visit www.hydroshow.tv. You'll find additional footage at youtube.com forward slash Hydroshow TV. You can find more Hydro information in our magazine. Visit www.hydromag.co.uk. 
For now, that's just about all we've got time for, but join us next week for more Hydro Show. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.